Well, hello all and welcome. Uh, I've got one or two little things to show you. I've got, uh, in fact, I've just surprised myself with something. I'll explain a little bit more about that uh, when I tell you. Um, and I've got some lettuce that needs to go out. This is salad bowl. Um, this is going to go... This. This was sown the 21st of August. Today is the 18th of September. So what I'm going to do with these is they're going to go out into the veg trog, some of these. And some will go round onto the plot. Um, I'm basically going to just pick out the best. There's, there's like three or four seeds been planted in each cell. And um, I'll just take out the best from these put some into the veg trug i've got a little bit of room in the veg trug so they'll go into the veg trug and then some more will go round onto the allotment um and i'll i'll have to net them because the, bir <laughs> the birds will have a field day eh? so so that's one little job that i've got to do um i picked up some pots these are stewart the uh, garden pot people they're nine liter 33 centimeter pots and although you can't really see it there but the label on it is they are five pound 49 each or you, you can buy two for nine pound um the reason i bought these and you're going to be the first to know uh, probably before my daughter does but I'm going to pot up or plant some bulbs in here some spring bulbs um, and take them round to her so she's got a bit of colour in her, her back garden and talking of the bulbs I'll push that forward so you can see that now that I bought from a independent garden centre or at least I thought it was an independent garden centre and as far as I know it is I know I'm contradicting myself but when I don't know whether you can see but you can see there Blue Diamond Group so these actual uh, this collection it's a collection of obviously a collection of bulbs they're from the head gardener at belton house in lincolnshire and as you've seen which is part of the national trust i believe that i think it's 10 percent of the sale price goes to the national trust now these were marked up down there at £14.99 for 50 bulbs and this is uh, got a label on it at 9 99 so I thought that's really good I'm really really impressed with that to be honest for 50 bulbs I thought that was really good they had done and they do another collection of white bulbs but seeing them them pinks and I thought, yeah, that'll be, be quite nice, that will. So what I'm going to do is, obviously with these pots, um, it gives you, gives you a planting depth for them. Um, so I'm going to put a bit of a mix in these. There's, some, um, there's three lots of tulips. There's an allium. There's a narcissus. Um, I'll put a list. In fact, I'll... I'll a list as to exactly what there is uh, for you to see um, but I'm going to put a bit of a mix of them in these pots not all of these obviously some of these I'll uh, probably put in the garden actually um, so yes yeah, so we've got one or two little bits of jobs to do so I think the first thing for me to do is get and put this lettuce out there you go you can see some that I've put in I'll just what I'm doing is 
I'm lifting the entire plug and putting the plug there's like four in there so I'm putting the full four plants in to here because what I do with salad bowl lettuce um, is just take off what leaves I want when I want them uh, it's what I've been doing with some of this Navara there's some more salad bowl over the back there that is slowly going past it that's why I've done these so these have gone in here now um, I've put a little bit of goodness into the soil these few these that are left some of these will now as I say go around on the allotment and um, I'll then start some more off sow some more over the next couple of days sow them in here so I've got continuation of lettuce right a little little something else that uh, I want to show you uh, these uh, salad leaves mixes uh, this one is uh, it's called speedy mix and this is called bright and spicy uh, they're seed from Thompson and Morgan in fact when you look you could almost when you look at them you could almost say it's the same picture but um, I don't think it is but hey ho these were sown um, the 4th of September today is the 18th so they're doing quite well uh, it's something I've not done before I've grown rocket separately um, done that uh, alongside lettuce um, but this what I'm thinking with this you see is obviously taking odd leaves off uh, and have with um, with lettuce have it on sandwiches such like um, but as I say I've never done it before and quite pleased the pots have just sat out uh, on the decking next to the uh, veg truck um, I don't think there's uh, I don't think there's any bird damage I don't think the birds have uh, got at them or anything else has got at them um so yeah quite pleased with them it's, i say it's something i've never done before and i just thought why not give it a go it's a little bit different i i take sandwiches to work with me um and they've always i've always got some sort of salad of some sort on them and i thought why not try this you know a bit of a bit of spicy mix with it as well just ring the changes a little you know so yeah i'm quite pleased with them they're coming along really nicely just a, a little quick question really if possible as you can see me begonias in the basket put on a really lovely show this year first year i've ever done them um question is what do i do with them now with regards over a wintering do i cut the tops off and uh, take the take them out of the compost and dry them or what I, I honestly don't know what I need I know I need to dry them out but I don't know what the exact process is so if any of you out there grow begonias would you please let me know what uh, what the process is with regards to uh, what I need to do with these now well I've just had a knock on the door can you tell what it is yet yes I've just had my order come through of all my seeds from DT Browns um, I'm going to contradict myself now I've just said all my seeds from DT Brown everything I grow doesn't all come from DT Browns but 95-98% of what I grow all comes from DT Brown 
A uh, little bit of a story with regards this order. This was placed in uh, August, 13th of August actually. Um, I kept going onto the website and looking to see what was happening with the order and it just kept coming up not fulfilled, not fulfilled. And at first, because of the sort of weather we've had this year, I'm thinking, does that mean that there's something there waiting to come into seed so that they can collect the seed or whatever, you know, and that was it. And I was quite happy to leave it at that. And then I thought to myself uh, on Monday, today is Wednesday, it's the 1st of November today. Uh, and on Monday, I thought to myself, I thought, I'll best ring up and just ask the question. No harm, you know, they can't shoot you for it. So I asked the question and I spoke to a member of staff. Watch your head. Look, it's the beautiful Mutley. Um, and I, I spoke to a member of staff at DT Browns. She couldn't understand why the order had not been fulfilled. So she was going to get in touch with the warehouse, ask them to treat it as priority. That was Monday morning about uh, nine o'clock. Here we are, Wednesday, 10.30. This just came through the door. And it's me seeds order. <laughs> Brilliant. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to move you from where you are and you're basically, oh, hello, this is Dizzy, hey, beautiful little Muttley. Oh. Uh, I'm going to move you from where you are, uh, bring, move the camera around, try and see if I can settle this lovely little lady down, because she'll be rummaging through everything, and I'll show you exactly what I've got in here, what I've ordered, what's come, and so on, and uh, yes, I know, I love you too, and... Uh, I'll show you what I've got. Right, there you go. You can see into the box. Let's have a look. Open them up. I've just, as I say, I've just opened it up. Thank you card. Um, Twenty percent off next order. That's about normal. That's the receipt. That's me, me bill. Right, in no particular order. Oh, I've just seen that. Look, free seed, carrot, top weight. Oh, we'll give them a go. Right, I'm just going to dig in. Broccoli, monoclano. Um, I've grown that this year. Been very pleased with it. Uh, it's a um, club root resistant variety. That's mainly why I've grown it. Uh, spring onion here. Fiesta. Another spring onion. Guardsmen, should have a few of them. Um, let's go from here. Leek, Elephant, I'm doing them this year. They're, they're doing really nicely round on the allotment. So I thought, do them again. Uh, tomato, Crimson Crush, you'll probably see. Yeah, I've got at least four packs. Now these are Crimson Crush, they're a blight resistant tomato. I've been growing these now for, oh, I bet it's four or five years. And, and I, I really do like them. And this year I've decided to just do the Crimson Crush and Sweet Million. Because I've tried doing the big beef steaks and, and things like that. And I have, let's say I have mixed success. Some more Guardsmen. Oh, Clapton, Cauliflower, again, another club root resistant variety. Uh, sweet Corn, Swift, grown that for about three years now. Love it. It's no problem whatsoever with that. Uh, cabbage, again, this is like a, a winter. It's a club root resistant. It says first club root resistant Savoy cabbage. Um, Cordoba. And I must admit, uh, again, I've got them growing around on the plot. 
and they're looking really good sweet candle carrot there um, you've seen in a, a previous video when I'm harvesting you've seen how these have gone funny this year they they're normally a stump root just round stump rooted carrot but they've grown like a tap root and I think it was the funny uh, weather at the early part of the year with it being so dry just uh, gonna wet the whistle Eee, yeah, cup of tea, lovely. Onion exhibition. Now, in previous videos, I've always said about don't see the point in growing great big onions because if you want to just slice of onion for on a sandwich, you know, blah, 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 uh, you've got a lot that you've, a lot of onion you've got to get, a, and I'm not going to say it's going to go to waste. You can freeze it chop it up and freeze it but I'm doing I'm gonna have a go again this year with the big onion lettuce Lola Rosso uh, lettuce Nirvana and um, here we go sweet million tomatoes these are lovely little cherry tomato that I've said before they <laughs> they don't always make it into the house i go down the bottom of the garden to the greenhouses and uh, once they're ready that's it they've gone salad bowl lettuce uh the good old trusted boltardy beetroot i've been pickling some of that just recently brussels sprout crispus again this is a club root resistant variety I've got them growing round on the allotment now and they're coming along just fine. Beetroot, Monobre. Um, this is very much like, um, it's a long, as it says, long cylindrical. Um, a bit like a, grows a bit like a carrot, really. Um, let's have a look, what have we got in here? Onion, Redlander. Now I've never grown these before. Um, so we're going to give them a go. Um, I thought makes a change from Red Baron and such like. Uh, Kelsey, onion. So try them out. Oh, another sweet million. Ah, leek. Autumn Mammoth 2 Tornado. Now, um, this year I've done Elephant and I've done a... a um musselbra the uh, next year i'm not doing musselbra i'm doing the elephant again as you've seen already and i'm going to give these a go as well so we'll try them out uh what have we got here carrot nazareth now this uh this is just basically um a sweet candle um it's it says here, highly recommended main crop variety producing extended blunt-ended roots. Uh, and it is, it's very, very much like the sweet candle. And I personally, for what it's worth, I personally think I've had better success with Nazareth than with the sweet candle. But that's that's me. That could be to do with, with the, the compost in the tub. Uh, parsnip gladiator and then one two three four five six hearse green shaft um, I boo booed a bit this year I put some of these in quite early on it says here it says March to June I put some in in March uh, like I've done in previous years and it was a disaster I think about three came up um, so what I'm going to do is these I shall leave it till depending on the weather of course I shall probably leave it till April before I start sowing any of these and then in amongst all this I've just noticed 
There we go. I'm only doing one lot of French bean, doing Cobra. Uh, I did Cobra and Blue Lake this year. Um, and I've had absolutely oodles and oodles of been fantastic cropping. But I'm just going to do the Cobra. Um, and I've saved some seed as well. And then what I like with DT Brown, let me take this, as you can see in here, you get loads of labels. Absolutely brilliant. Love it. So, there we have it. So, let me just spin you around and show you my ugly mug. How are we? Is that, is that good? Yeah, looking good. Um, yeah, so that's it. So this is all me, me seeds that have come through. Uh, me onions, the, um, all of them, apart from spring onions. But my main crop onions, I'm going to be doing those um, in propagator and then putting them under grow lights and so on. I didn't do that this year, um, thinking about energy costs and such like, um, but I've looked into it and it basically doesn't, doesn't really cost a great deal. Plus the fact, not that you need to know this, but uh, we are way, way, way in credit. We are way up there, so um, I've got no problems there. Um, and that's it really. As I say, I'm going to do them onions, do them round about, uh, probably start them mid-December. Mid uh, maybe round about, maybe round my birthday. My birthday's the 9th of December, which is a Saturday this year. Um, so maybe over that weekend, I might uh, get and do some of these onions. So there you have it. That's a little bit of a sneaky peek of uh, my uh, seed order from DT Browns, which anybody from DT Brown is watching. Big thank you for uh, processing it so quickly and uh, looking into it for me. Um, I've never had a fault with DT Brown. I mean, I've got no axe to grind either way. These these guys don't sponsor me or anything. Um, so I've, I can only go by the experience I've had. And as far as I'm concerned, they're a brilliant company to deal with. If you're thinking of getting your, your order in, then definitely have a look through DT Browns because uh, they really are really good well that's it for this one thank you all very much for watching it really is very much appreciated um bit of a gap i know the uh, the video at the start was uh well back in september we're now in november um there were not to drag things out but there was something that i was going to do to put with that that video with regards to the the bulbs and the uh, the greens, uh, but it didn't come off. Um, I was relying on somebody else doing something for me, and that didn't happen. So I nearly decided to just scrap that and not use it at all. And then I thought, well, no, it's of some relevance. It's um, even though we're in November people are still putting bulbs in so you know they still it's not as if we're out of time um, with regards to the begonias uh, as I say it's the first year I've ever grown them and they they um, were a red and trailing giant I think they were called and they put on a really nice show I've been really chuffed with them but as I say I don't know what to do with regards uh, overwintering them so those of you that grow begonias um could you give me a lesson please thank you very much um and me seeds um apps as you've probably seen i am tittle pink with regards receiving them um 
not just because of the fact that I've had to sort of make inquiries, find out where they were and, and what have you, which I wasn't, wasn't that bothered about that. But I'm glad that I've received them now because now I'm at a stage where it's like, right, I've got the seeds. Um, whenever I'm ready now, I can get and start and do do some, as I say, the onions are going to be the, the thing that I'm going to do the going to start off first normally it's onions and peppers well for next year I'm not growing any peppers I'm just uh, just gonna well I say I'm not growing any peppers um we'll see we'll see I'm not <laughs> I'm not too sure myself yet <laughs> Mr Decisive or is it Mr Undecisive <laughs> So, as I say, thank you all very much for watching. Really, it's very much appreciated. Um, I've got a bit of a renewed vigour now to get going a bit. I'd, I've, I've been doing some things on the allotment and I've done very little filming. But, to be perfectly honest, it's not been fit. I mean, it's raining now and it's, it's forecast rain all day today, I think and uh, the problem is it's not so much that i can't go around now but i need you know three or four days for it to dry out a bit uh, because it does get waterlogged a little my plot and i need a bit of time for it to dry out before i can go and do things so i've done little bits of jobs but i've not really had a chance to really get stuck in so hopefully between now and uh, when i need to get in grow stuff we'll have some days where i can get in get stuck in and get things done so as i say thanks for watching very much appreciated be good look after yourselves look after each other and i'll see you in the next one to a bit